How's it going, guys? Aviator Z here, I'm back with uh, another video. And today we are gonna, uh, not we. Well, yeah, we because you guys are watching. But this video is just gonna be about uh, infantry. So I've made a uh, how to be a pilot video, and I've also made uh, just some other some other random videos uh, pretending to King of the Hill. But today we are gonna be uh, we're just gonna be doing infantry, and I'm gonna be walking you through what I think about whenever I want to be a try hard or try and get first place in infantry so the first thing about playing infantry is having a gun or a, a setup that you're comfortable using so with that i mean like you know you need to have a primary weapon that you love to use for me personally, I use plenty of different primary weapons. I probably used every primary weapon in the game with exception to like the shotgun that came with a um with the shotgun that came with the new contact DLC. So I'm gonna turn the bond down or the the VON down because these guys are loud. But yeah, so today is just gonna be an infantry video. And yesterday I was using the uh, RPK or trying to figure trying to figure out how to use that. So whenever I play infantry, um, again you have to have a I guess you could say a good class. And so what I typically like to run is ammo, launcher, and silencer. Now some of you guys might be like, why, wait, why a silencer? Why not a, you know, grenade launcher? Uh, I typically run a silencer because if you have a silencer, you, it, it helps so much. Like, they won't, the enemies will not be able to, like, find you that easily versus, you know, if you, you're going unsilenced. Like, it's night and day. Like, if I hear somebody across the street using, uh, you know, an unsilenced weapon... You know, I'm going to be able to figure out where they are pretty easily versus me being silenced. You know, you, somebody who's in proximity of you will still be able to, you know, hear you. But, um, you know, it's a lot more difficult for the enemy. So for me, what I like to use, what I've been using recently, I've used all these. As you can see, I've bought like every every gun with exception to the to the regular AKM. But I love using uh, as of recent this Promet and I'm going to go ahead and buy that right now. Because it is a fantastic gun. Also, you know, again, with your class, you know, you need a good scope. I generally, any any scope is good. It's just up to personal preference. I like the ARCO, RCO, um, ERC. Uh, the ERC is iffy, but really any of these work really well. And then, again, a launcher. The reason why you want to have a launcher is because you can take out vehicles and helicopters taking out hummingbirds in king of the hill will get you so much money and so heck yeah like i'd say take a maws just about with every class unless you're using a heavy lmg because then you can just shoot hummingbirds down and shoot everybody out so then if you want to play infantry you know i like to mess around with these uh with these outfits a lot but what you generally want is uh an outfit that gives you pretty good speed and pretty good armor a lot of people use 556 and 556 in this game can't go through a lot of the armor so i'd i'd highly recommend like an infantry uh an infantry or anything with like if you look at the middle here if you put your mouse cursor over each over each different uh character you'll see the different armor rates that you get so i choose a uh and infantrymen personally because they uh they have pretty good chest armor and most people again will you know shoot you in the chest so chest abdomen just you know go through see what you like i mean you can always just go and pick up pick up different uh chest rigs and stuff like that for more armor if you use any of these lower armor characters but you know i generally would go with uh with an infantry so we're gonna choose like infantry character here we're gonna go infantry regular t-set and that's our class we're off i'm just gonna see if i can change the camo because i do like to uh change the there you go change the camo so next what i would recommend if you're a pretty 
you know, decent pilot, you can wait for people just to make a little bit of extra money and take yourself in. But what I generally do is either get an airplane or drive a car. And because I want to expedite the process, we're just going to buy an airplane on second thought. I'm going to leave that car there for later. And this is not going to be a full match. I'm just going to show you a couple lives and deaths and see what I can get into and walk you through again. You know, some live commentary of me playing King of the Hill because, you know, it's good fun. And I, I don't want to brag or anything, but I can consistently get into the top five or one first place. I'm talking about one place, first place, anywhere up there. So it's not too bad. Like, you know, you can join late and just start going absolute ham. So what you want to do, um, again, you definitely want to be vigilant of um, the bottom right-hand corner of the screen with the uh, the priority. Because depending on what the priority is, like you definitely don't want to just land in the priority or whatnot. But here we are. We're going to parachute in you know, all tactical and hopefully not get shot. <laughs> hopefully. So... Since I don't, I haven't been in the uh, AO yet for the. Oh, 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 oh! You shot it. So what you want to do when you land, um, especially if it's your first life in, you want to definitely just um, get a hold of your bearings. You know, look around. I'm actually gonna. If that, if that hummingbird is just gonna sit like that, I might shoot him down. And I missed. And I missed again. Well, low twice. Well, that was poor shooting by me. <laughs> oh, we shot it. Her bullets fly. It's not cool. We don't like that. Oh, I think there's an enemy. Let's no, that's friendly. Guy. Okay, cool. Okay. Um. So, right now I'm just trying to get a bearing on things. You want to use cover. You definitely want to use cover. That's pretty standard in any game. So check this out. Here's a little tip I learned from another YouTuber called Vanor. Um, when you, if you look at the top right uh, part of your screen where your where your character stands, where he does the crouch and the standing, if you look there when you peek a corner, it'll be a. Oh, there's some enemies over there. There should there should be a square or something. Um, like here, I'll do it again. There'll be a square right there. And that means your weapon is partially perched. Like, it's kind of like a bipod, but it's not a bipod. So it helps your recoil. helps you control your recoil. Um, and definitely do that whenever you can. Because that helps. Like, shooting, being uh, partially um, bipoded up like that helps a lot with your uh, recoil. And you'll be able to get your shots on target way easier. Now, if we look at the bottom right-hand corner of our screen, we'll know that there's a lot of enemy in the priority. So right now, I'm kind of just, yeah, you could call it camping, but I'm just looking at different areas, trying to fi not get uh, picked off, because there are a lot of different uh, enemies in the, uh, in the priority. So I think I've been spotted, unfortunately. So I might need to move in a second, but yeah, somebody definitely has seen me. Yeah, they're... Uh, suppressing me so I'm kind of just uh not trying to get shot by that guy you know not standing in the windows too often just uh moving around another tip that I like to do is uh I, I stay on full auto unless I'm shooting like three four hundred meters out um the reason for that is because you can you can easily control your recoil but for me I think it's since King of the Hill, especially when you're playing inside the AO and inside the priority, uh, you're not getting many, many long range engagements. So you can you can just tap fire on full auto and uh, get the same result as you would be. Okay, I'm getting shot at, and get the same result as if you would be on um, single fire. And you know you never know. Somebody might just pop up, and I've, there's been countless times where I've been on single fire trying to be all tactical instead of uh, full auto. So. Being on full auto definitely helps, so you know, you want to clear. Especially, like, I play by myself, so I don't have any other um, really friends that, you know, can check my six when I move from cover to cover. If you do have people you could play uh, cough with, definitely play with people, you know, get on a Discord, but. Um, is there a guy there? Oh, there is. 
Wait, I miss. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, armor. Armor, armor. Oh my gosh. Wow. See, that, that's that's one of those things right there. That's armor. There's a guy right there in that building. And okay. That that was a terrible display of how to play armor right there. But in my defense, I got actually really, really uh, held back in that engagement because that should not have happened. That should not have happened. I should have killed the other guy. I saw the other guy crossing the street. I shot the blue four guy in the building a cool, like, a couple of times, and he just, nothing, nothing. So, I guess what I'll do, since there's a lot of people back at base, is I'll get a helicopter and make some extra money and take these guys in. One thing i also uh, say that anybody should really invest in is a microphone. Like, this is my dad's mic, so once I go back to university, or to college, that... Um, I won't be having a mic anymore, so <laughs> the videos will go back to just being, uh, just kind of being um, non-commentary. It'll probably just be more highlight videos and vlogs and whatnot, but, you know, it is what it is. No problem. I mean, just like that, we have a full hummingbird, so I'm going to use the same tag. Hopefully there's not a redneck. If there's a redneck, uh, it's like a 50-50 chance. But, um, so we're going to look at the map. I'm gonna see see where I could put these guys in. Uh, I like to land over at that uh, little church area, but since uh, since there's a lot of people dying and stuff over there, I'm not gonna land there, and it's fairly close to the priority. But um, I'm just gonna put these guys down uh, over by the schoolyard. I love landing at the schoolyard because many people don't really sit over there. Wonderful spot to land out. Wonderful spot. Um, and it's easy. You can you can have pr uh, you can have a lot of different approaches to the schoolyard area. Oh, there's a hummingbird landing. Oh snap! There's a hummingbird landing right there. Try to put these guys down. There we go. Everybody out. Oh no no no! no. Let me turn it off because I do like to hear when other hummingbirds are coming in. There we go. But yeah, uh, I just decided to get those guys in right there. Um, I did see that enemy hummingbird coming in. And I definitely, um, I wanted to land more over there, but I'm kind of glad we didn't. So, hey, uh, they got in. They got in. That's all that matters. That looks like a guy right there. Yep, 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 yep. You can't see me. <laughs> tree for the win. <laughs> he locked. <laughs> oh man, I'll be pretty mad at that too. Seems like a little laggy today, honestly, because it took a lot of bullets to kill that guy. Less than 100 meters on me. Where is he at? Uh, he's way over there. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way over to the priority. Um, we have we have control of the. That. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh yes, please. No, 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 no. Come over here, please. Uh, no, I'm not gonna be able to get it. Dang. Saw him, but you know it is what it is. That's... So I know there's a hummingbird that landed somewhere around here, not sure where, so I'm gonna be try and be fairly cautious um, when it comes to this but um you know they're watching over there so um, i'm seeing where those gls landed and i'm thinking that's where the enemies are oh Woo! recon kit everybody take note don't use the recon kit because that is why you can get shot one bullet anywhere and die that's why you know if you're gonna be in the infantry you know, like definitely invest. You don't even have to invest. Just don't, don't use a. Uh, just don't, just don't use the infantry. Like it's not, it's not worth it. Okay, so now that I'm okay, let me go ahead and reload. 
Let's see what that guy was using, because if he had some extra... Oh, he did! He's using my gun. Let me on my body. Let's see. We're still controlling the AO, which is cool. We're just trying to prom prolong this. As long as... That guy? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Just wanted to make sure. Can't be too sure, because... Yeah, you know, somebody will pop out of nowhere. So again, oh, uh, this is a little risky. Yeah. So again, I'm just trying to pick my way over towards the priority. Um, no real particular reason. The priority is gonna start coming this way in a little bit. So I don't really know why I'm tripping. On me, on me. I hear a bunch of teammates talking. I hear a hummingbird coming in, so I might get lucky. There it is. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get that. Oh, if that building would have went down a few seconds earlier. And there's the kill assist. So, like I was saying, you can start making a little bit more money. Um, yeah, you definitely can with those. And you guys can see that those people that I dropped off, um, even though I'm playing infantry, I was able to drop those dudes off and get a whole bunch of kill assists. And that's how you, you know, it'll really help you start climbing up the leaderboard. So again, I'm just uh, I'm just checking everything, making sure you know there's no enemies going around and whatnot. Oh, there's a guy. Missed. Go uh, ahead reload. I have plenty of ammo. Just gonna keep moving over. Really, also if you want to really um, up your score and up your uh, XP gain and money gain, go and send the priority. You might not get a lot of kills, but You'll definitely um, Take it in. help your help your score. So we're moving up now. Nah, this garage is not really a good spot because I can get shot from the windows and you know, but it doesn't seem like there's anybody over there. So we're just gonna look. I hear a hummingbird, so I'm gonna pull out my maws. There it is. Let's see if I can hit it. There we go. Finally. <clears throat> so I did get that one, thankfully. Let me go back to full auto. So there's a lot of there's a lot of enemies in the priority right now. Or there's enemies from each team in the priority, I'll say that. But um Yeah, we're just gonna scan. I mean we're not in the priority personally, but oh, oh this is taking fire. Not sure what that was coming from. In the vid. The best way to face in the vid is to not face one. Or ooh, I kind of want to ruin this guy's day. <laughs> Please don't crash into me. Oh wait, hold up, hold up, hold up! I have three rockets. Tripping. So used to having only two rockets. Ah, no, 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 no! Oh my gosh! Oh, uh, that's terrible. Ah. Okay, uh, that's that's freaking perfect. I'm kind of stuck right now, personally. Um, I think I should have died. I don't know how he's not dead. There we go. Oh, he has maws too. Nice. I'm definitely gonna go in there and take the, some extra rockets off of him. Okay, I'm not gonna go revive that guy. It's a little risky. Um, I'm gonna wait just in case that guy has some friends. Sounds like there's a there's a guy using a lynx or something over there. So, um, just kind of just kind of looking. Um, there's a guy over there that is just firing away. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna definitely try and take this guy's uh take an extra miles off of this guy. Look around, make sure guys do like to sit over there. Somebody's taking fire. 
Nice. Your footsteps. Woo! Oh! Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking right there. I don't I don't know. I definitely should not have come out. Oh, maybe I can get... Nope, he's dead. So, yeah, I should have definitely... Uh, right there. Should have definitely just... Stopped trying to be a, a hero and just ran the other way. But, you know, it happens. And you, you're bound to die, so... So now, I'm going to show off a different gun that many people overlook, um, which is this gun right here, the car, the car 95 5.8. It's a really, really good gun. It's very, very overlooked, but um, it fires the same round as the P90, and it can go through level three body armor, which is great. So, I'm just going to be kind of toxic, <laughs> if you could say that. So, we're going to go with Machine Gunner. And this is a toxic loadout. Oh, no, it's not. It's not as toxic. I could use the vid, but we're not going to do that. that. That's too toxic for me. I'm going to make a video on how to be the, the most toxic player on the server, easily. So, this is also a good loadout that I like to use. I mean... It's the SPMG. It's not as overpowered as the uh, Navid, so you know you don't get a lot of flack for using it. But it, it does a lot of the same stuff, which is definitely fun. Um, when I use this loadout, though, I I try and go with a lighter uh, because I want to be able to run around, personally. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another helicopter since there's a good amount of people here, and there might be some people who want to. Jump in, um, and the game's about to end, and I don't really want to waste time uh, with a car, so I'm just going to fly some people in, get these guys in there, <clears throat> Shit. and my dog is barking, so if you hear him uh, barking, he's, he's going crazy, he probably hears a squirrel or something, <clears throat> but yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna wait for a little bit, see if any of these guys at base want to come in the helicopter and get in. See you. Hey, if you guys need to respawn, there's a helicopter at base. Uh, leaving in ten seconds. So we're gonna wait for ten seconds, roughly. I mean, see, there's a whole bunch of dead dudes right there, but uh, it looks like. Give it five more wow, seconds. I don't know. It doesn't look like anybody really so wants to. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So we're just gonna take us three. It's gonna be a nice little small and ah great. Now Blue Force is back into the uh, AO. Hey, come on, we were doing so good. Keep... Looks like they might take it in this little jump because they got a good amount of people on the priority. Wow, and unless independent uh gets in there. So I'm gonna. It looks like the priority is going store more to. Pfft, can't talk more sort of to the storage area. So we're gonna try and take them to these. Uh, this little corner up here. You can land all right here. It's gonna be a little sketch. So I might get shot out. But I mean the game's about to end. So. So we're gonna try and put them in right near the tower. Oh, I got sniped. I need to pick up, please. Tower two. We're gonna come in real sort of tactical. Tactical. Ooh, that was Moz. So we're just gonna keep moving. And put him down. Everybody out. Just like that. <laughs> you know, you just kinda gotta. Oh, 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 move, 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 move! One, one right there around the warehouse. So yeah, just trying to stay alive at this point. Um, I do have an RPG, so oh, and speaking of RPG, and I muff that. I was a little used to the maws, so when I saw the iron sight come up, I was a little 
shocked. There we go. That took more shots than should have. So now we see the priorities over there, and this is what I like. I like this sort of engagement in the uh, storage. There's been some fun times where I've been, uh, me uh, and, you know, it's been a fight for the priority in the storage area because there's a lot of stuff that goes on in storage. And it's definitely a fun zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a little bit more careful moving up. We got the uh, we got that inside. We have a guy up there, so that, that helps. I'm gonna move up a little bit more, sort of push it. Don't wanna get shot from over there. There's an enemy helicopter. <laughs> Missed. I tried to get the explosion. Maybe get the guys who got out. That's one thing you can do as well. When the helicopter lands, all is not lost. You can get the explosion and kill the guys who get out. Jeez. So I'm not sure if that was friendly or enemy. I sure hope that was a uh, friendly. Damn it! Sorry, I'm not talking much here. I'm trying to focus and kill these guys because I do want to stop blue for as much as possible. How is he not dead? I guess these guys might come from over here personally. Yep, I was right, and there's a parachute right there. Just trying to stay alive, take names. Look at trying to watch every angle since my, my friendly had died. Are you trying to get you up? No, you don't. Oh my gosh. This is stressful. Oh, there's enemies over there. Ah! And the game ended. So I hope you guys like that. Um, it wasn't much. I joined kind of late, but, you know, it was definitely fun recording that. So um, hopefully I taught you guys how to be a, a better infantry player. Um, you know, I love playing infantry as well as being a pilot because, you know, being a pilot is kind of old sometimes. So. As you can see up there in the storage area, there's a lot of enemies, so that's what I love to, uh, to do, is just get inside the priority and absolutely wreck havoc, so. That being said, you know, thanks for watching. If you guys watch it, you know, like, subscribe, and uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.